Okay, hello. This is Dr. Janes. Today I'm going to talk about how to use SQLite uh, DB uh, 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 Database Explorer uh, to uh, try to recover. If you, if you have, uh, if you're using Google Chrome, uh, Google Chrome will actually save your passwords into the different things, and you can ask, tell it to save it. And maybe you've been using that for so long and you've forgotten what your passwords are. There's actually a way to go in to Google Chrome if you know your Google Chrome password and uh, uh, recover those passwords. But um, if you've forgotten that too, well here's a way to get in by uh, using SQLite. Now Google Chrome saves those passwords someplace on your hard disk in a special place under uh, some kind of format called SQLite. And, uh, I'm going to show today. You can do this with Windows, or you can do this with Ubuntu. This is uh, to show how to do it with Ubuntu, and um, I'm going to use the app get to install this uh, this program, so we can uh, because it's the only way. You, you, it's a special format, and you can't view it with normal files. So let's uh, copy this guy and paste him over here. Paste. So sudo at git uh, repository. PPA Linux uh, GNDU slash SQLite browser. Okay. So we'll put that command in. And we will continue. So what that's doing is that's adding uh, that location into your uh, app get, and um, now it knows where it is, so we can copy this next line to install it. sudo app get update, and okay, so it's going to do an update, which is going to take forever, and uh, that makes sure that all the other programs associated with it are, are up to date. So it's going to go to the Ubuntu uh, repository and download the latest of everything because your, your, your operating system has thousands, I don't want to say millions, but probably thousands of different programs that all are doing different things. And uh, so we're going to get the uh, installer at the, the last part here. So it's going to do a few different things in this command. Okay. And we kind of just sit back and wait. Okay, so it finished. Okay. And it didn't put anything up here, so let's let's see how to run it. Let's do a search in our uh, our programs here. S SQ light. DB browser for SQ light. That looks like it. And it's an application, so that even looks more like it. So we'll click on that. And uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so, and I was kind of doing this on a Windows machine, and I thought the easiest way is to kind of go to the location where the data is stored. So here's the uh, uh, location where the uh, passwords are stored. It's a uh, .config slash google dash chrome slash defaults under login data. And so, <coughs> let's try open a database uh, actually I may not be able to navigate to there let's see we'll go home bin Let's do this. So we, we've already navigated to this directory here. And we'll do copy 
log in data to uh, tilde backslash. Okay. You have to put that slash in there because there's a space in the file name and that uh, compensates for that. Okay, so we've copied that under tilde. So let's see if we can find this. It's probably under home. This is CD tilde list. Copy it here. Login data. Okay. See if we can find login data here. Not seeing it. Let's just look for all files. How about that? There's login data. Let's open her up. Okay. And uh, move this window over a little bit. Oh, what the heck? So here's something called logins, and uh, we should be able to look into these different files. Username, oh look at this. Okay, so <coughs> I um, created a new uh, account and I just put a, a password into there. And so uh, I guess, so here is our DB browser, and if you want to see the data, because I didn't have any data in there before, you click on this tab up here, it says Browse Data, and then it will tell you the website that you went to, and the username, and there's my username, and if you scroll over, next thing is Password, and there is the password for my account there. I won't scroll over all the way, because I uh, keep the password, it's still got a lot of characters after it. So anyway, so this is how you can it's Roblox, new login, and so all the information, if you forgot your passwords, you can uh, use this DB browser. I did try to um, try to uh, navigate to the path directly, because remember we were copying the thing, uh, the, the, the login file, into our dir a directory that we had access to. And I did just try opening, like if we open a database, and uh, you click on this thing, you can type in uh, like dot config, you can go to the hidden files and uh, go into those directories that way because they're not sh they don't normally show up. But I did navigate there and the problem is, is I, I don't think that I have permissions because it wasn't able to open it up you know in the directory where it's, it's uh, normally saved. So I did have to copy it to uh, my home directory before I could work on it and take a look at it. So anyway, there is there is how you can recover uh, passwords and usernames and all sorts of other fun stuff that's stored in Google Chrome. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.